today we are driving along the Blue Ridge Parkway headed to Mount Mitchell State Park. <coughs> Mount Mitchell is the tallest peak east of the Mississippi River, but we will get into that more a little bit later. We want this video to act as a bit of a travel guide or what to expect if you're going to enter the park. The only way to access the park is via the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is a very desolate area with little cell phone reception. There are no gas stations and very few restrooms, so prepare accordingly. More accurately, Mount Mitchell State Park is located in Yancey County, 30 miles northeast of Asheville. And it was in fact the genesis of North Carolina State Park system. Mount Mitchell stands at 6,684 feet tall, making it the highest point east of the Mississippi River. So let's see what it's all about. All right, fit check. Andrew said, what's a fit check? I got this from Walmart for $25. It has built-in underwear. I wish it had pockets. I wish it was shorts and not the underwear. I think it's for running or something, but I'm gonna use it as a hiking onesie. I wish it had more support, but for $25, what do you expect? There was something similar to this at Target for $40, and I was like, no. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. There is so much pollen right now. I don't know how my eyes aren't swollen shut. We are slowly ascending up to the summit. We stopped off at the restaurant. Apparently there's a restaurant out here. If I would have known, we wouldn't have eaten beforehand. How neat. Hopefully they'll just let us check it out. It says the Mount Mitchell. What? You just locked the keys in the car? Silly, Andrew. Normally, that would be really bad, but luckily, Andrew does this so much that we got spare keys. I won't show them where it is. Oh, yeah. oh Andrew. All right. All right, crisis averted. Uh, it's the little things. Like that key was that key was like less than ten dollars at Home Depot because we have such an old vehicle. It's not like a computerized chipped key. Anyways, the Mount Mitchell restaurant opens at eleven a.m., closes at seven p.m. So let's just check it on out. All right, you're gonna go through this little trail. Apparently this was North Carolina's first state park. Yeah, there's these trees here that smell, some people say they smell like fish. I think they smell like pee. All right, they might not let us in to film. So this is what it looks like from the outside and it probably has an amazing view. Oh wow. This is pretty neat. Wow. Look at that view while you're eating. So far up here, man. All those mountains are way below. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. These little Ad Adirondack chairs. This is pretty neat. Definitely stop in here if you have time. I'm not going to lie to you and say that the menu was some creative, amazing thing. Pricing was eh, but they had a good rating as far as cleanliness by the state. Um, I definitely will come back and try it. But honestly, the picnicking area, as you're about to see, is just so beautiful. Why would you even sit in here and eat? However, they did a great job with it. It looks great. As far as camping goes, Mount Mitchell has tent camping walk-in campsites. They are $26 per night. There are only nine campsites. There is a 10 by 10 tent pad as well as a grill picnic table at each site with potable water faucets and restrooms. However, there are no hot showers or bathhouse. Backpackers who want to hike backcountry tent campsites in the Pisgah National Forest may leave their vehicles overnight at the park. If you are interested in doing so, make sure you register using the forms provided at the trailheads near the parking area or at the park office. Make sure that the form is left on the dashboard of your vehicle. And remember, there is technically no overnight car camping, RV, or van lifing at the Mount Mitchell State Park. Gunner's like, let me out. 
Let me out. Please let me out. Lock the doors. It's almost embarrassing how excited we got about this picnic area. It's probably one of the most breathtaking picnic areas I've ever been to. And I hope that the footage I got can translate well enough for you. There was picnic area after picnic area and different little coves, private ones, ones that are in these little cabin looking things. It was just so astounding to me that this is free. It is free to enter this park. It is free to use the picnic area and the grill. And honestly, that is why it's so important that people respect it. I'm going to do my whole little speech and then we can keep watching, okay? Leave no trace. Leave it better than you found it. Pack in and pack out if there's not receptacles or if the receptacles are full. There are black bears and other wildlife in this area, so prepare accordingly. Don't leave food unattended. Make sure everything is sealed up in a cooler and locked in your vehicle if you are currently not cooking it. In fact, at the end of this video, there is a black bear siding with some cubs. It's not the best footage, but stay tuned for that. Most of us come out here to enjoy nature and to get away from other people. So please be considerate. You don't need to be blaring your music, using one of those portable speakers, dog off leash, running up to other people. Everyone just wants it to be copacetic, man. So just try and be considerate and we can all enjoy this together. There's a few different families out here grilling out and picnicking right now. There's a water fountain, more grills, more tables. I mean, this is just so neat that you can picnic in these little cabins. This is just a dream. This is literally a dream. Like, what? I just feel like we sound so stupid because we're so excited about this. All right, you can watch some of my videos on the state parks we've been to in Florida. And it's not that they're not pretty if you go to a spring or something, but the picnic areas aren't this nice. Like the fact that all of this is free entry really blows my mind. And I'm the quality and just, I don't know, the state parks here are way nicer, okay? This is your view. <laughs> just picnicking, looking at the Blue Ridge Mountains. Enough nerding out about picnic areas. Let's see what we came here to see. Mount Mitchell. Mount Mitchell is the largest mountain in North Carolina, and the tallest peak is part of the 15 mile long Black Mountain Range. The Cherokee tribe was one of the most prominent to hunt and explore Mount Mitchell before the arrival of European settlers. Mount Mitchell is named in honor of Elisha Mitchell, a professor who taught at the University of North Carolina. Prior to Mitchell's findings, it was previously believed that Grandfather Mountain was the tallest peak in North Carolina. It's pretty astounding that Professor Mitchell was able to concur in the mid-1800s with very little technology that Mount Mitchell was 6,672 feet tall. Now, of course that's not true, but he was only 12 feet off from the actual height. Unfortunately, in the summer months of 1857, Professor Mitchell had a fatal hiking accident where he slipped and fell from a cliff near a 40-foot waterfall. Professor Mitchell's body is interred at the summit of Mount Mitchell to commemorate his pursuit for exploration and knowledge. Oh yeah, definitely recommend that. That should definitely be on your list. It's absolutely worth it. Here is the bear content as promised. We were driving along the Blue Ridge Parkway, headed back down the mountain, and sure enough, there they were. They're pretty common to find along the Blue Ridge Parkway around dusk, especially in the spring months. You're going to see the mothers with their bear cubs. Give them space. They're normally pretty scared of people. Don't feed them. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We have more behind-the-scenes footage and exclusive content on our Patreon. And as always, don't get bamboozled.